Hey everybody, I'm Todd and I hope you're having a great day. You can spend a lot of time looking for the cause of audio dropouts, pops and crackles. And the real issue is that there can be many things that are contributing to this. Now the first place most people start is with operating system optimization. So you can optimize your windows and also taking a look at the audio drivers. And there's no doubt these can be the cause or contributing in many cases. But often there are other issues that are lurking in the background that may be the real culprits you need to deal with. And one of them is the video card. There's definitely a tug of war for resources between video, audio, and other processes going on in Windows. And so we need to make sure that audio gets the priority it does, and the CPU can handle all the load of the requests coming from every direction. And so if you're having trouble with audio dropouts, pops, and crackles, maybe you have latency monitor and it looks something like this. Today's tip is gonna to try to clear up some of those lines of communication to the CPU, and we might just solve some of your audio issues while we're at it. Now the first thing you're going to want to do if you don't have it already is go to the link below and download the Latency Mon application. Once you get to the page you'll see the download home edition link and then you can go and get the free home edition. Once you have that go ahead and install it and launch Latency Monitor. So I'll bring it up here. What this is is an application that allows us to track delay in our system that can be caused from various reasons. Two of them are interrupt and DPC latency. Today we're going to be looking at interrupt latency because we're thinking about video cards and so what i'll do is i'll start it running here now keep in mind i have this running on my system where i'm also running obs studio i'm capturing video the screen a lot of other things my system's already pretty optimized and as you see i'm not getting a lot of dpc or interrupt latency but again we're going to look at interrupts in today's tip i'll have another video with more information on dpcs coming soon now you're doing this to create a benchmark so we can try before and after you apply the tip that i'm going to give you so once that's run for typically, you want to get, let it go for about five to 10 minutes even, just to see where your system's really at. Once it's run, you can go ahead and shut that down. And then you need to go and download a special utility. It's called the MSI Utility 3, and it's for message signaled interrupts. And interrupts, I'm not gonna get into a lot of detail, but just think of them as ways that your CPU communicates with devices that are integral to your system, that are part of your computer. And so you go ahead and download that, when you click download, you're going to get a pop-up window that has some advertising if you don't have a blocker. But there are no viruses here at the time of recording. I've tested all of this. Mediafire is just a repository. And so once you have this downloaded, it doesn't actually need to be installed. It just runs right from the download file after you unzip it. And so MSI Utility is basically there to allow you to change the way your computer communicates with the various devices. And as it turns out, Video cards or graphics cards are a major reason for latency, for dropouts, audio clicks, and pops. And so what you need to do is take a look here. You're going to see a lot of things, and you need to find anything that's going to talk about your NVIDIA video card or AMD Radeon video card. And you're going to take a look to see if they have MSI enabled. And beside it, you'll see if it's supported or not. So as long as your video card, in this case, is going to be an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 I'm running in this computer. As long as you see that MSI is available here, you can go ahead and check that box, and then you'll go ahead and click Apply. Now it gives you the option of various uh, profiles here. There's high, undefined, or otherwise. Some drivers support high, some do not. Undefined is the default that will generally work for most things. So I encourage you to test it on undefined and also on high. So once you've set it the way you like it, you just click apply, and then you need to go ahead and reboot your computer. So we'll reboot and come back. Now once you've rebooted your computer, you wanna leave it for at least about 10 or 15 minutes. Let it go ahead and get all the startup activities done and everything kind of stable before you open up Latency Mon again. Then what you wanna do is go ahead and click the play button to start recording. And again, you're going to watch this and see what you get in terms of interrupt to process latency, this line up here. And so you're looking for an improvement from the baseline we took before. Now, again, depending on whether you're doing the undefined or the high profile for the NVIDIA graphics card settings or AMD graphics card settings, you may go through this process a couple of times. And what you really want to do again is reduce the interrupt cycle time. If it does get reduced, then you know this is probably going to help you and you can move on and then do some tests with actual audio. Now, if you don't notice any difference, it could mean that there are other things that are causing things to be a bottleneck. 
And so once again, you can go into the MSI utility. And so when I reopen that, you'll find there are other things you could look for here. One of them is going to be your audio driver. So if you have, you know, in my case here, I have an antelope driver on here and I'll just uh, see if I can find it. Uh, antelope audio Orion 32 plus, you see it supports MSI mode and I have it set in high because again, I've gone through and tested it on both undefined and high to make sure it works. Now you can also do this if any of your PCI Express root hubs are available. You notice mine are not on this board. You can look for various USB devices. And another thing is if you're running Thunderbolt, you'll see a Thunderbolt controller and that may also have the ability to run in MSI mode. So again, those are other things you can test. And each time you test one of them, you make one change at a time, you can then go back to latency mon and check to see if you have improvements. And I encourage you to go through this process again with the video card and with uh, audio drivers, as well as any Thunderbolt or USB drivers that might be there. And you may find that you get a reduction in the interrupt to process latency. And so once you've gone through the process of testing the MSI mode for the various interrupts on graphics cards, audio devices, USB, as well as Thunderbolt drivers, go ahead and open up an audio program, your DAW or other playback app and listen to some music and see if you're gonna get crackles, pops, or dropouts. If you have an improvement, fantastic. If not, you may still have other issues with DPC latency and other drivers that need to be removed. And as I've said, I'll have a video coming up that I'll go through that in some more detail as well. But for now, I hope that helps you out. I've really enjoyed having you here today. Have a great week, everybody, and I'll see you next time.